We're Sean and Lena, and this is our last week in Southeast Asia. We've spent the last couple of months in Thailand, and now we're back in our favorite city, Bangkok. Initially, we were supposed to be traveling to Japan, but during the time when this was recorded, the borders were still closed. We've already been in Bangkok three times, and because it's our last week here, we thought, why not treat ourselves? and see on just how Japan can Bangkok get. From trying bento boxes to Japan's biggest conveyor belt sushi chain, we might not be missing out on too much. Now, Bangkok is a big city and our favorite mode of transport would have to be the metro. We're staying at Sukhumvi, which is located on the blue metro line. This is the most accessible metro line as it loops around most of the inner city. We chose to stay in Sukhumvi because you can also get the Sky Train there, which brings you a bit more central into the city. You can pay for your ticket at any of the machines or at the ticket desk that's located in every station. You get little tokens that you can use to scan yourself in and make sure to not lose them because you will need them if you want to get out of the metro. Most of the underground metro stations are well air conditioned, making it a really nice place to escape the Bangkok heat. The metro is one of the most popular modes of travel because it's so cheap and reliable. On this day, we went to visit one of our favorite shopping centers, Icon Siam. It's located just on the Chao Phraya River Bank, and you can get free shuttle boat to it. Washi tape heaven. This is amazing. Keeps going. John. Oh my god, look. Yeah. Look at the shoe. Let's have a look at it. It's on vending machine. Looks like they have a bit of um one piece. Oh yeah, Marvel. It's famous for having an indoor floating market and a waterfall and is also home to our most favorite view of Bangkok that you can enjoy for free. We then had a stroll down to Bangkok's Japan area to find ourselves some ramen bowls. The next day we decided to visit MBK Shopping Centre as we've heard that it has one of Japan's biggest convenience stores, Don Don Donkey. This place was huge and is a must to visit if you're looking for anything related to Japan. They are adorable. We were blown away with the choice of food, and the price was actually reasonable. But yeah, if you love Japan, 
Khan. And here's the place to get your snacks. We then had to visit the Animate store, which is known to be the go-to place to buy any sort of anime merchandise in central Bangkok. Look at these! <laughs> it's like watching that. Yeah. <laughs> we haven't watched Tokyo Revengers yet, guys. Please don't. Shame on us. If you're looking for some merch, some knickknacks, and some stationery that's anime, that's your spot. And books, yeah, it's your spot. But if you're looking for like little presents, there wasn't as much prints as I would like there have been. And um, it's definitely like mostly new anime, not like the OGs. The classics. So keep that in mind. But we did see an arcade here. Also, there's a maid cafe here. Is it really Thailand without a giant hulk? Ah, a cup and cab. We've got the L menus. We just started to buy inside this place does bento boxes for a good price. So, we thought, why not? Why not? We're in Japan, right? We're in Japan, guys. Sad face. All right, appetizers, sushi. We're looking for the bentos. Here we go, pork and beef. Oh, we've got options. I can see the excitement on your face, Sean. Well, yeah, you're probably thinking, Sean, Lena, this is not like you guys spending money. <laughs> and we were like, listen, this is our last week in Bangkok, in Asia. So we're gonna enjoy it and really appreciate for what we can get here for ah. such a less of a price than what we would get back yeah, at it's home. Still it's, it's still cheap. It's still so cheap. I feel like we should make ourselves out to be this cheap. Yeah. yeah. We're, we're not. We're just smart with our money. But yeah, this week we're deciding to just go for things. We're not going mad. I think we're going to like five star Michelin restaurants and spending a thousand euro for a meal. But you know, instead of spending a euro, we're spending eight euro. Because. Our next destination, New Zealand. Know, New Zealand, where you can finally disclose, is not going to have as much of this kind of stuff, or will be much more expensive. <laughs> Sean is on another level this week. Who is know. this guy? I'm living my best life. <laughs> I don't even know how to tackle this drink. How's the straw even going? I don't even know. I'm worried about overflowing. Shove it in. Look. Oh, sh Light cheek. Yeah. I'm gonna let it melt a little bit, I think. Yeah. I just got a classic green tea. Helena. <laughs> oh um, This smells so good. It smells amazing. Look at this, it's bubbling. My Real oniony as well. Watering. And you got a miso soup here as well. Miso soup. <laughs> Wow, careful, that looks boiling, Lena. It's good, it looks amazing. The panko is so good, so crispy. Nice. Chef's kiss. Oh, the tofu looks amazing. The tofu is literally like that soft. I'm barely touching it, and it's just peeling away. Mm. 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 Very different. Well, that was a feast. That was unbelievable. <laughs>
so good. That was really, really nice. But yeah, we're just saying how nice it is, like seeing all the kids from school coming yeah. in and having, you know, bento boxes with your friends after school. Yeah. That's so pretty iconic for yeah. for us, you know. Like from that the doesn't West. happen in Ireland. Like, get a bag of chips. Get a bag of it. chips and spar. That's about it. For and sure. you just kick each other down the street. Oh, yeah. stop. <laughs> so anyway, we're gonna head on. Yeah. Now we're gonna go try to buy more things. Jesus, chaos. Later on that day, we jumped onto the SkyTrain as we had one goal in mind, and that is to visit Japan's biggest conveyor belt sushi chain, Sushiro. We actually recommend booking a time slot for this place as it understandably can get very busy and you could be left waiting a while for a table. So I believe so cute. last time we didn't realize. Yeah, this. last time. Okay. Us foreigners. There's a matcha in here. Or it's green tea, something. I'm gonna put a bit in. Don't know how much to put in if I'm honest. I think a bit more. Think a bit more? Yeah, that should be enough. Okay, and then it says burn coffee, so we're gonna Oh Jesus. So we've got hot water. Matcha! Ah, oh, thanks, Sean. Ne never say I'm not a, a gentle man. So yeah, so we're at conveyor belt sushi, yeah. which means we can order from the tablet if you want specific ones, or you can just see what looks nice. Yeah, and, and you can just grab things. Just grab it. Yeah, crispy chicken, yeah. spicy sauce. And good. then whatever you actually order on the tablet then comes on the top conveyor here. So. You guys will see it. This oh, is one that. of our favorite Ooh. conveyor belt. Ooh, box of ginger. Box of ginger, look at that. Wow. Okay. The way this place works is that the plates are color coded. The red ones are the cheapest and are only costing 40 baht. And then you have the yellow, silver, and black. The gist is the more premium the sushi is, the higher the price. You can place an order through the tablet for more specific sushi requests and it gets delivered to you on the top conveyor belt. Oh my god. She's a 
Get her out. Call the police. It's the savoury spoon now, anyway. Fucking hell. It's tough. It's when someone's filming you and you're eating sushi, it's just like such a big bite. You really have to chew it down. Melts. Melts. Yeah. Well, I was excited. It looked great. I'm just melting your mouth. I'm not even over exaggerating when I say this. This was the best sushi I've had in my entire life. The fish just melts in your mouth. It's, I've never had anything like it. I can now tell what sushi is bad quality. 7-Eleven sushi will never taste the same again. You end up spending just as much as you would spend in a buffet. So for us, it was worth it. All right, guys, we're finishing up here in Shiro Sushi. We've eaten a tremendous amount of sushi. Let's have a look at the stack. We have got about 20 red plates, two silvers, a ramen, and some like this. These are uh, 40 baht plates as well. So our grand total is 910 baht, which translates to 25 euro, 12 euro each. And we ate the nicest. tremendous amount of food. We also free refills on drinks. Yeah, so we just got one. Yeah, we got one and shared it because we're smart like that. Um, yeah, so 900 pounds, so 25 euro for all that. It's amazing, it's amazing. All right, we're gonna hit the road. We kind of spent the next couple of days just enjoying our time in Bangkok. We actually went back to get bento boxes. And this time we are served by a robot, which was very Japan. Overall, we really enjoyed our time in Thailand. I'm literally crying while editing this footage. And we know for sure that this won't be our last time visiting, as we found that there's so much to do in all seasons, yes, including the rainy ones. <laughs> it's really turned into like a second home for us, and no matter how many times we come here, we always find something new. See you in a new country next week, and take it easy.